Hey y'all, I'm back with another recap on ta -da, my favorite show right now, Insecure, y'all. Insecure season two, episode two. All right. Now, show opens up. Issa done told Molly Hearns Lawrence done smashed. Molly like, y'all fucked? <gasps> you know. So Issa like, I mean, yeah, you know, she feeling all weird because it, it was awkward. She Now she don't know what the hell to think. She don't know what's going on. She don't know what's Lawrence thinking. She's just like, yeah, we smashed. So Molly like, well, what kind of. What kind of fuck was it? Was it a, you know, fuck you? Or was it a, you know, we might get back together? Issa, like, I mean, I don't know. It was just, you know, she don't really know what to call it. So they just talking about it. Molly's trying to help her figure it out. They ain't really coming up with nothing. Meanwhile, Lawrence is at the gym. He's thinking about Issa, of course. And he starts texting her. But then he decides not to text her. Like I told y'all in the last my last recap or whatever. Lawrence loves Issa, but he's just like, his his pride is just not going to let him go right now. He's like, no, you know, so he don't want to look like no sucker. So he going to play it cool. He done smashed. He done dashed. So he going to play it cool. So Molly's in her counseling session and she's opening up a little more. Um, the counselor told her, you know what I noticed? You, you, you often say this was supposed to happen or this is what should have happened. Basically letting her know that Molly has some control issues where Molly feels like things should happen the way she thinks they should happen instead of instead of accepting what things really are. And how many of how many of us have that same issue? That's why I say this show. I love this show, man. I, I can't get enough of this show. Like I'm I'm like so into this show because <laughs> it's so real. All right, so then they then then there's a scene where they're at this this art um uh, event or whatever for the one girl i don't know her name i know the other friend is kelly the kind of plus size is kelly but i i don't know the other one's name with the long hair light skin i don't know her name but they had an event for her for her job or whatever and while they're there you know they're just talking and stuff and um kelly's like no Issa's like you know yeah thanks for um setting the fire at my party and then kelly's like well at least you can't ever say your party wasn't lit <laughs> They are stupid. <laughs> so they are just walking and talking or whatever. So then um, Kelly asks them to go bar hopping. Like, you know, let's go bar hopping or whatever. Issa's like, nah, I'm cool. I'm just going to chill out. I'm not going to go right now. And then they're like, well, why? And then she's like, well, you know, she didn't want to say, but she ended up saying, she's like, well, Lawrence came over and we had a, you know, we had a long talk. And Molly trying to be funny, a little shady, talking about, oh, y'all talk? What y'all talk about? Now, Molly, you know, good well, they asses didn't talk. <laughs> so, anyway, so she's like, oh, well, you know, then she just tells him, like, well, you know, I think it's a chance we might get back together, and I just don't want to mess it up right now. I don't want to be doing stuff. I just want I just want to be cool. I want to lay low. I just want to be cool and see what happens. So, Kelly's like, oh, well, did he break up with that girl? And then my, um, Issa's like, what girl? So they kind of like, oh, you know, I guess she didn't know. So then they're like, well, the girl that, you know, he was with or whatever, I think her name is Tasha. And um, she's like, oh. So then they convince Issa to try to look her up on Facebook, which we all do that too, honey. So um, they pull her up on Facebook and, you know, they're like women do. Oh, she is, that lace front is doing too much. Oh my gosh, you know. <laughs> I get a holler. So I love to watch this show with my glass of wine, honey. And it'd be on and popping for me. I'd be getting my life. But anyway, so they're talking about the girl, you know, and Issa's trying to be the bigger person. Like, nah, I don't want to do all that. I'm just, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to look at her Facebook profile, whatever. So then Issa goes to the bathroom and, you know, her alter ego comes out. She in there rapping or whatever, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You the new girl? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he's still with me. You know, talking all this stuff to herself in the mirror about this new chick Lawrence is dating or whatever. So while she doing that, then another side of her comes out. She's like, you know what? So Molly comes to the bathroom and she's like, hey, girl, I was just checking on you. So now Issa got to change her heart where at first she was saying, I don't want to see her Facebook page, whatever. I'm cool. Now she like, pull that bitch page up. 
So then Molly get this look on her face like, yeah, bitch, that's what I'm talking about. But y'all know what? I'm going to say this. I know Molly and Issa are really good friends, and I do believe that they really love each other. But I also think that Molly wants Issa to be miserable. Yes, I do. Because she's miserable in her own life. Molly is miserable, honey. When it comes to love, she is so fucking miserable, honey. And yes, she loves Issa, but I think she wants Issa to be miserable too. And it's not out of malice, but it's just more so misery really does love company. And even sometimes with the people who really love you can sometimes want you to be miserable right with them. So anyway, they pull up the girl's Facebook page, whatever. So then they show, they show Tasha and Lauren sitting at, sitting at her house chilling, you know. And, you know, like I said, y'all, she is so on him. Oh, my gosh. So they're sitting there talking or whatever, just watching TV. So she's talking about this family barbecue they about to have, her family about to have. And she's like, oh, you know what? I, I was going to invite you, whatever, you know. And she's like, oh, oh but, but no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Really, you know, she wants this man to be her man, okay? She wants him to be her man. But Lawrence is a little disconnected, of course, because, hell, he's still thinking about Issa. He just, I mean, come on. The breakup was not even... Not even a week, you know? So anyway, so he just comes right out because his mind is just not there. He's not focused on her or whatever. He ain't focused on her or no family barbecue, no family functions, honey. He is not there with her. His mind is on Issa, okay? Okay. So um, he's like, he just comes right out like, like he just couldn't hold it no more. Like, I slept with Issa. I slept with my ex-girlfriend. I slept with my ex-girlfriend. So the needle scratched the record. She like, oh, okay. And he like, well, you know, it, it just, you know, uh, uh, what can he say? It happened. So she's like, I mean, you don't, st do you still? And he's like, no, 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 no. That's like, no, you can't ask a man, do you still love your ex? I mean, you just got done. He just got out of a relationship with her. He just had sex with her. Obviously, yeah, he still got something for her. Anyway, so she's like, you need to leave, honey. You need to leave. So he gets up and he leaves. So Issa's sitting up here tempted to check Tasha's Facebook page, but she's trying not to be that kind of girl. She's trying not to be that girl that's stalking another girl's Facebook page, but she can't help herself because she is the woman. Huh? She is a woman, honey. She can't help herself. So she go ahead and take a look at the girl's Facebook page. She look at the Facebook page and she see like, oh, she work at the bank, which is the bank right next to the best buy that Lawrence was working at. Ding, ding, ding. In the meantime, in between time, Lawrence is out looking for an apartment, okay? Because he's tired of sleeping on that blow up mattress on old boy's floor. He needs his own place and he needs somewhere to where he can smash old girl the way he really won't. Well, you know, he needs his own place. So... He's out looking for his own apartment. And it's kind of like a reality check for him. Like, dang, you know, I really am single again. Oh, man. You know, but he got to do what he got to do. Issa done gone up to the girl's job, okay? Issa goes up to the bank. She goes up to the bank. The next thing you know, they show Issa walking in, going in. Issa goes into the bank, gets in the girl's line. And when the girl waits on her and asks her what can she do for her, Issa punches her, okay? But... <laughs> Again, this is one of those funny, realistic moments where people don't want to admit this, but they be thinking like this. So it basically came back to just her imagination, okay? She was imagining that she walked up into the bank and got in the girl's line, got in Tasha's line and punched her. <laughs> but no, she didn't get, she didn't go, she didn't even go inside the bank. In reality, she did not go inside the bank. So she's outside wanting to go in, but she don't go in. But she sees Tasha walk by and she kind of ducks down and lays back in her car. Meanwhile, Molly sees Lawrence at, I think at his job or she was at some function that was job related. And I guess it was job related for him. But basically they crossed paths or whatever outside or whatever outside the workplace. And she's like, they had a little awkward moment at first too. But then they started talking and she asked him like, you know, well, how are you doing? And he's just like. I mean, you know, what, what what you think? How you think I'm doing? You know, that's what he, that's the look he had on his face. So they start talking and Molly's like, well, you know, Issa messed up. You know, she cheated and she feels really bad. And Lauren's like, what? Like, how the hell is she going to feel bad? That's not what he said, but that's the look he had on his face. 
So Molly asked him the million dollar question, like, you know, would you take her back? And then it, 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 it's, it, and then it cut from them. We never heard Lawrence's response, but Molly called Issa. Issa's still at the bank debating if she want to go in. Was well, she laying back, you know, in the seat or whatever? Cause Tasha don't walk by, but Molly calls Issa and she's like, you know, girl, I just seen Lawrence, you know what I'm saying? And, um, Molly's like, Issa, you know, he said he's done. He got his own apartment. He said he's done. Let me tell y'all something. Lawrence never, we didn't see Lawrence say he was done. I think that Molly told Issa what she wanted to tell her. And I'm not, again, I'm not saying Molly's doing this out of malice or whatever. But again, I really do think that Molly wants Issa to be miserable with her. So then Lawrence go to Tasha's house just to talk to her or whatever. And he's like, you know, basically being apologetic still. First, she kind of gave him the cold shoulder. She like, mm. I mean, you know, it's your ex. It happens. You know what I'm saying? And besides, we never said we was exclusive anyway. So then, you know, she like, I got some food cooking. You know, let me get, I got to get back in the house. You know, basically she was playing him off. Then when he started walking away, I don't know if maybe she started thinking about that dick he be putting down on her or what. But she has a change of heart. She's like, you hungry? And he's like, you know, he turned around like, hell yeah, you know. He turned around and he like, yeah, I could eat. I'm thinking like, she is so on him. Oh my gosh, girl, get it together. Girl. I mean, my thing is this. If all she want to do is have casual sex with him, cool, that's fine. But I feel like Tasha wants more than that. And that's the part that's not good because he's not trying to give you more than that, boo-boo. He's just going to give you some dick. And, you know, that's pretty much it because he really act like he only going to give her conversation half the time. He's, you know, that's really it. So whatever. But that was it. That was episode two of season two, y'all. Hella questions is what it's called. So, um, Hope y'all enjoyed this recap. So till next time, peace.